Hey guys, um, I want to talk about feeling like it because it's a thing that like we tend to wait for and we also think that it's like the answer to our success. Please know that successful people never succeed in things because they felt like it. They felt like it, they felt like it for a moment, but like that doesn't last. Like feeling like it is a thing that like often happens at the wrong moment. You feel like it in the morning, but in the evening you don't feel like it anymore. So how are you going to act on what you did feel like at a moment you don't feel like it anymore? That's the difference. That's the like difference between someone that does it, actions, like they, they do things, and another person that's like waiting, waiting to feel like it. So here's what's this, like here's what I have to say. Stop waiting, it's not coming. No one's coming to force you to feel like it. And when you do feel like it, often enough, it's not at the right moment. So you, it kind of like loses its steam by the time it's actually time to act on what you should be doing. Um, so summertime is a perfect time for you to like wait for you to feel like it and it's not coming. You're now an adult. No one is going to force you to do what needs to be done other than you. When you were a kid, your mom would say, ah, even if you don't feel like it, this is what you need to do. Now there's no one, no, no one's coming. No one's telling you. And you need to be the one that like tells you like, even if I don't feel like it, this, what, this is what needs to be done. This is what I want, blah, blah, blah. So um, I just, if, if ever you catch yourself often saying, I don't feel like it right now, I'm gonna wait till I feel like it, it's not coming. And, and you won't have success by waiting for when you feel like it, okay? Um, you can't control how you feel, but you do control your thoughts and your decisions. And so um, if you don't feel, like if you feel sad, that's like something you can't control. Like I feel sad about this scenario, or I feel upset or discouraged or mad or hurt. All of these things, like those feelings are real and we're gonna talk about that this weekend, but your thoughts towards that, um, that you can control. So if you say, I'm disappointed that the scale didn't move. You can go straight to, um, well, that's what you do, Jose. You never succeed. You're never going to lose weight. Like those are thoughts that, that you are in control of. Or you can go to like, okay, it's okay to be disappointed, but you know, um, I need to look ahead. I really want this. Uh, I don't want the alternative. So quitting is not an option. Like those are thoughts that the same person could be disappointed about the scale but their thoughts is what will make the difference if they're going to succeed or not, not their feelings. Successful people are also disappointed. Successful people are also sad, okay? So it's their thoughts. They control their thoughts. And if you can learn and if, to change your thoughts and control them, you will change your life, okay? So this week, I want you to think about your feelings and your thoughts on how you're feeling and see if you can be a little bit more positive. And we're certainly gonna do a meeting about this one day, um, a longer video, but just something to put out there this week.